This video will show you how to configure the EMEC G1 actuator for inverse control. The auxiliary input port of the EMEC actuator allows the actuator to accept a binary signal from a device such as a flow switch, a flow sensor, a level switch, or from a manual switch, or it can accept a signal from a PLC device. This binary signal is then used to enable inverse control. First step is to connect the power supply terminals of the actuator to a 24 volt DC power supply. Then you turn on the actuator by pushing the green button and holding it for about uh, two seconds. Connect one side of the USB to serial adapter cable to your PC or laptop uh, USB port. Then connect the other side of the cable to the supplied serial cable. Then you screw the serial cable onto the port labeled 3 on the underside of the actuator. Next connect the supplied EMEC auxiliary cable to the port number 2 on the underside of the actuator. Pin 4 on the connector outputs 24 volts DC which can be used to power the auxiliary device but the device must not draw more than 100 milliamps. The switching device is placed between pin 1 and pin 3 of the connector. Also connect the supplied temperature probe to port number one on the other underside of the actuator. In standard control logic, when the temperature of the measured process is lower than the temperature set point, the actuator will close the cold port and will open up the hot port. If on the other hand the measured process temperature is higher than the set point temperature, the hot pot will be closed and the cold pot will be opened. The actuator will open in a counterclockwise direction. Inverse control works by reversing the control logic of the actuator. That is when the temperature of the measured process is lower than the temperature set point, the actuator will open up the cold pot and close the hot pot. If, on the other hand, the measured process temperature was higher than the set point temperature, the hot pot will be opened and the cold pot will be closed. The actuator will still open from the, in a counterclockwise direction. One of the applications for inverse control is in the dough mixing process in a bakery. The water used for dough mixing has to be at a precise temperature regardless of ambient temperatures. If the ambient temperatures are too low then the binary switch is activated and this means that the chilled and the cold input ports will be opened and the hot input port will be closed. If on the other hand the ambient temperatures are too high the binary switch can be turned off and this will enable normal blending to take place. That is the hot and the cold input ports will be opened and the chilled input port will be closed. First step in enabling inverse control is to select tools, detect EMEC actuator. After the actuator is detected Click on Tools, select Standard Config, then select Unlock Actuator Configuration. Move to the left, select Configuration Devices, move down and select 22 Controller. Move down again and select Flow Gain Factor. See the table for values for the Flow Gain Factor and the Flow Gain Threshold. 
set flow gain factor a value of minus 32767 to enable inverse control. Move to the left, select flow gain threshold. Give it a value of 0 for a normally open switch or minus 1 if you are using a normally closed switch. Finally select tools, standard config, lock actuator configuration. The actuator is now configured for inverse control.